Hello, so today we're going to create this optical illusion that covers two learning objectives. The first one is I can identify and use radial balance and remember that radial balance has a center, things coming off that center, no matter where you cut it in half it's the same on both sides, so if you cut it down vertically it's the same on both sides, horizontal top to bottom is the same, any diagonal it would be the same on both sides, so it's symmetrical all the way around. And then our second learning objective is to create value using light, medium, and dark with pencil, so we're using color pencil, we're creating dark, medium, and light values trying to create the illusion that this is round in 3D and the darker areas are farther away from us and the lighter areas are closer to us because the sun is highlighting them and they're sticking up. So this should look like bumps going around. We're going to create this um, using paper, color pencil, ruler, and regular pencil. Then we're going to photocopy it, put it on the iPad, and then superimpose our picture on the top like it's a bounce house. So the way that we start this is you're going to get a square piece of paper. You need to write your name and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C. You're going to flip it over and the first thing you're going to do is create an X on your paper using a ruler. So your ruler's not going to reach all the way to the other edge of your paper. So you just need to kind of eyeball it, um, try to imagine if you continued this line on where it would go. You're going to draw a straight line down the ruler and you're going to slide your ruler down, keeping it lined up with this pencil line continue your pencil down off the paper. You see I got pretty close to the corner. You're going to do that again on the other side. And then the T line, the vertical and horizontal lines, they need to meet the center of the X. So you need to start with your pencil point on the center of the X, slide your ruler to your pencil point, make sure it's not crooked, that it's nice and vertical. Draw up and down and then I like to turn my paper and do that all over again. Pencil in the center point slide your ruler up against your pencil and down and there you have your vertical and horizontal lines. So now you're going to draw smile lines, curved lines that curve um, like a smile down and then back up from each of the straight lines. And you can draw the smile real deep or you can draw it kind of shallow, it's completely up to you. And then you'll go from this starting at the end of the smile line over to the next straight line all the way around. Okay, and you can see this isn't perfect. These areas here are smaller than the spaces over here, and that's okay. It's okay if yours is really off and you have bigger spaces clearly on one side and skinnier spaces on the other. It doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to continue the same line all the way around and then it end where it started. So now we're going to draw another one. When you look at my finished example, I drew four lines in each of the triangle spaces. If you do more than four, you're just creating more work for yourself. So I'm going to leave a nice generous space between each smile line and I'm going to continue to go from one straight line to the next straight line. Okay, and you can see it's off again. You see I don't have a lot of space here but I have more space over here. That's okay. And then this last line that I'm going to do, I'm just going to pretend that it's going off of the space and meeting the line. On this example, I only did three lines. On my finished example, I did four. So if you do three or four, that's a good amount. Then you're going to choose your color pencils, and you're going to create light, medium, and dark value with those color pencils. Create dark value by pressing hard. So I'm going to press hard. And when you color, you need to color side to side. That means from the inside of the shape to the edge of the shape, not up and down like this. Side to side back and forth close together. I don't want you to color up and down like this because it'll look like stripes. By creating and coloring side to side like this and overlapping your light, medium, and dark values kind of create teeth like a zipper and they um, it looks more realistic. If you color this direction, it looks like stripes. You also need to color side to side close together. If you color and it's all scribbly and we can see white space between, that's incorrect. You've got to be go back and forth, back and forth, right next to each other so you color this in nice and solid. I need a medium value here. And since this space is small, the um, highlighted area, the lighter value, the lightest value, is going to be a small area. And then up here, I skip a space because we're creating a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to skip a space and color up here. Since we can only see one side of it, we're going to do dark, medium, and light value 
in that space. All right, so we're creating a checkerboard pattern. So my next space I'm going, since this was skipped and colored, this will be colored and skipped. So this space is going to be smaller amounts of dark, medium, and light because the area is smaller. The space is smaller. Barely get any light value on that one. Now I'm going to skip a space. Color back and forth, side to side. And your hand might get tired. You might need to take a break. Shake it out. So that's my dark value pressing hard. Now I need my medium value. Now I go back to my purple. And since this is colored, this is skipped. I color the same purple like I did. I colored this the same as I did over here. So this mean middle space is where I color the purple. So this space was left empty, so this space is colored because we're creating that checkerboard back and forth. And then the very last step you're going to do is take a black color pencil and trace over your pencil lines. This will help to create the illusion that this space here is farthest away from us because it's the darkest value. It's important that you do this step neatly. I want to show you that if you make a mistake, it's okay with the alternating. So I didn't, I did a great job of not making any mistakes, but on this one I did make a mistake. I don't know if you can see, but look right here. This blue should have been here, and then this blue should have been up here. And I alternated incorrectly. Now, if that happens to you, don't panic. It's okay. What you're going to do is you're just going to continue to color. So I colored these two blue ones before I realized I had made a mistake. So, if I had realized coloring this one, I was making a mistake, I would have colored this one, left this one white, and so forth. But I colored both of them before I realized. So, once you realize you've made a mistake with the alternating, take a deep breath, don't let it ruin your mood, move on and continue to finish coloring correctly. And then when we superimpose your picture on top, you're gonna place your picture over the top of this space and that will cover up most or all of your mistake, depending on how big it is. It probably won't cover up all of mine, but it'll be close. And so you can camouflage your mistakes, especially if you just make one mistake. If you continue to make the same mistakes over and over again, I can't help, help you there. But one mistake we can probably fix and camouflage mostly with your picture. Good job, fourth grade.